This video is on Poisson distribution. In today's video, here is the problem. The distribution of typing mistakes committed by a typist is given below. Assuming the distribution to be Poisson, find the expected frequencies. So these are all the x values that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And f of x is are the frequencies that is 42, 33, 14, 6, 4, 1. So we have to assume to be a Poisson distribution and for Poisson distribution, we need the mean value. So mean lambda is to be known. So for finding the mean value, see here all the values, x values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And f, the frequencies are 42, 33, 14, 6, 4 and 1. So first of all, I have to get the value of x into frequency. That is x into f. That is 0 into 42 is 0. 0 into 1, the value here is 33. 2 into 14, the value here is 28. 3 6 the value here is 18. 4 4 sir, the value here is 16. 5 1 sir, 5. So, if I add up all these values, the sigma value, that is a sigma xi fi value is equal to 100. So, if I add all these values, the value here is 100. For finding the mean of the distribution, we have lambda is equal to sigma fi xi by sigma f. So, what is the total value of sigma fi xi? The value here is 100. And the total frequencies, see, the values here is 100. So, here sigma f, this is a sigma f is equal to 100. Therefore, if I cancel in one, for one time, so lambda is equal to 1. So, we got the mean of the distribution lambda is equal to 1. After getting the mean, so we have to apply Poisson distribution. So for finding this one, see here, the mean of the distribution lambda is equal to 1 and hence the theoretical frequencies are n into p of x. What is this p of x? That is the Poisson distribution that is e power minus lambda, lambda power r by r factorial. Here n value is equal to 100. Sigma f is nothing but n and lambda is equal to 1. So, here we need the values of n into p of x. So, for all the x values that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, if I substitute the values here. So, lambda is equal to 1. n is equal to 100. So, if I substitute here, r is equal to 0. That is e power minus lambda, lambda power r by r factorial. r is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 1. See here, for r is equal to 1. That is, the formula here is n. n is 100 e power minus lambda, lambda power r by r factorial. Here, r is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to 1. So, if you see here, n into p of x, that is 100 into e power minus lambda, lambda power r by r factorial. Here, r is equal to 2 and lambda is equal to 1. For r is equal to 3, this is the formula. For r is equal to 4 and r is equal to 5, lambda is equal to 1 and n is equal to 100. See here, for 5 factorial, this is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. The value here is 120. For 4 factorial, that is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4, the value here is 24. For 3 factorial, this is 6. For 2 factorial, this is 2. 1 factorial, this is 1. And 0 factorial, this is again 1. So, we need all these values. See here, for finding all these values, this is, the first value is 100 into, this is e power minus 1. The value here is, see, this value is 36 point. So, this is 36.7879. Same. The value here is 36 point. This is a 7879. And the next one, this is 100 into, this is e power minus 1 divided by 2. The value here is 18 point. So, this is 18.3939. And the next one, this is 100 into, this is e power minus 1 divided by 6. The value here is 6.1313 and the next value here is 100 into this is e power minus 1 divided by 24. The value here is 1.53283 and the next one 100 into the next one here is 100 into this is e power minus 1 divided by 120. The value here is 0 0.30656.
so we need all the approximate values see for finding all the approximate values that is 36 36.7 so it is approximately equal to 37 so this is also 37 18.3 so this is approximately equal to 18 6.1 6, 6. 1.5 this is 2 0 0.3 this value is 0 so these are all the expected frequencies see here for x is equal to 0 the expected the expected frequency is 37 and again for 1 also this is 37 see i am writing all these values for x is equal to 0, the value here is 37. So, this is also 37. For 2, for uh, x is equal to 2, the value here is 18. And the next one is a 6. The next one is 2, 0. See here, this is 37, 37, 18, 6, 2, 0. This is 37, 37, 18, 6, 2, 0. These are all the expected frequencies and these are all the observed frequencies from the question. See here, from the question, the observed frequencies are 42, 33, 14, 6, 4, 1. So, these are all the observed frequencies and these are all the expected frequencies. This is how we have to solve first of all using the given data. So, we have to find out the mean here. The mean value I got as uh, lambda is equal to 1. And we have to apply Poisson distribution. This is the formula. And for all the expected frequencies, this is the formula that is n into p of x. For all the x values, so we have to consider this as r and lambda is equal to 1, n is equal to 100. So these are all the expected frequencies. And this is how we have to solve. Thank you so much. And I will be uploading the videos on normal distribution. Please go through those videos. If you really like, please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel.